Motor Week is made possible by Rock Auto, Tire Rack, and Die Hard. Now we turn from a component back to a car, and it's a familiar one. But it's still one that you may not recognize, a special Renault Alliance, the GTA. We can't tell you exactly what the moniker GTA stands for. It was probably just spit out by a computer. But you don't need a computer to tell you that this is a much more aggressive looking version of the humble Alliance. In the past couple of years, thanks to a decreased demand for smaller cars, the Alliance hasn't enjoyed a whole lot of popularity, so it's a safe bet that AMC is trying to boost sales with this GTA. But could it be that this GTA is a true performance version of the Alliance? We admit to being highly skeptical when we first put our hands on the wheel of Renault's GTA last summer. After all, the Alliance had a competent economy car chassis, but not one easily transformed into much more. Past efforts added little but trim to anemic alliances with swishy handling. While we entered the course a skeptic, we came off a believer. The GTA really is a high-performance alliance, and a little more. The GTA comes as a coupe or convertible. Both get a gorgeous monocolored paint job. Air dam, wheel spats, ground effects rocker panels, and optional fog lamps. It's aggressive to be sure, and in our opinion, only slightly overdone. Detailing was nice, from the special GTA logo to the lower body rub strips that hide the seams of the add-on body panels. While the overall effect of the GTA's looks is purposeful, the convertible looks less so when the bulky top is up. However, the GTA's convertible roof is fully electric and one of the best rag tops in foul weather we've ever tested. But the purpose of the GTA really begins to look plausible when you prop open the hood. The frugal 1.4 and 1.7 engines are gone. A robust, if not overwhelming, 2-liter is here to stay. But even with its healthy size, it uses a throttle body for fuel injection and produces only 95 horsepower and 114 pound-feet of torque. That's 10% less horsepower than last year's Volkswagen GTI, yet 4% more torque. But since the GTA weighs only about 2,100 pounds, it produces a very respectable 0 to 60 time of 10.3 seconds. It does poop out a bit, though, in longer runs, with a quarter mile time of 18 seconds at 78. Passing in third gear is fine, too, with a time of 4 seconds flat from 40 to 55. Even if the GTA would lose a drag race to the GTI, it is a huge improvement over past sporty alliances. The GTA's most pleasant surprise, though, was its handling. The furrow plowing of other Alliance models is gone, thanks to new camber and toe-in settings, stiffer front springs, and revised gas shock valving. You see more body roll trackside than you feel behind the wheel. The rear end can be tossed around easily with proper use of the throttle but the larger sway bar that stiffens up the rear also allows the inside wheel to lift easily. When that happens, the rear end loses traction and tends to hop around the corner. However, you get fair warning if it's going to happen thanks to the moderately fast and precise steering. The wide Michelin XGT tires getting their first production use on the GTA give aggressive traction and helped with excellent driver road feel. You may need full power to execute the toughest maneuvers, but the rest of the GTA responds rapidly and securely. Overall, we were impressed. The GTA's braking system is also beefed up from other alliances, with front ventilated rotors and larger calipers. They do a great job of reducing fade to a minimum. Test stops were straight and short with only a 100-foot average from 55. However, they were too easy to lock up and hard to modulate. We'd like less power boost. AMC also made the GTA's interior high performance, beginning with the seats. They're the latest Renault design and include see-through head restraints. Pedestal mounted, they rocked into good position for everyone on our staff. Lower back support is good, and the high side bolsters keep you centered even in rapid turns. Our car also had Renault's optional keyless entry system. The rest of the interior is much the same as what you'd get on a Highline Alliance but it adds a leather-wrapped steering wheel. The analog gauges are mostly complete and clear. Our car came with a Jensen AccuSound radio. 
Here we found the myriad of small controls somewhat confusing. Also, sunlight makes the equalizer indicators hard to read, especially in the convertible. You'd best set it in the shade and forget it. Both the sedan and convertible have usable trunks, even if the sill is high and there is no fold-down rear seat. Our test figures for the GTA sedan include a surprisingly quiet sound level of 67 decibels at 55 and unexpectedly high EPA mileage estimates of 26 city and 32 highway for the five speed. We think our 100 mile economy loop result of 25, a reasonable number for this type of car, is closer to what most buyers can expect. But what kind of price can they expect? We save the best about the GTA till last. The GTA starts at $9,000 and our fully equipped sedan costs just over $11,000. That's a $2,000 advantage over most of its competition. So it's logical that price is at the top of our GTA list of hits. But only because the car lives up to its billing with good power and good handling performance and enthusiastic exterior trim and interior appointments. On the miss side are brakes that need improved hard stop modulation, stereo controls that need to be clearer, and for the convertible, a top that needs a more attractive shape. Safety-wise, the GTA falls in the middle of the pack, with steel-belted radial tires, halogen headlamps, and strong 5-mile-per-hour bumpers as standard. Our early GTA two-door didn't have the front passive restraint system that is now standard on some other Alliance models, and there are no shoulder belts for the rear seats yet. AMC deserves a lot of credit for its Renault Alliance GTA transformation. It's a fine, fun to drive, yet economical to own package. It shows that small AMC is still capable of larger efforts, and we hope they can continue to surprise us.